Okay, yeah, yeah. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's do this, let's do this. <laughs> the anxiety is real. Hey everyone and welcome. I am Sailor Drew. Let's hang out and play some Dragon Quest XI. So we are giving Jasper what's what or what's for, however uh, people say that. <laughs> Uh, so abilities, okay, so she does not have the super nice, um, staff attack, but she does have one similar. Ooh, dang. Ooh, I should pet myself up, actually. No, I think about it. Um. Oh, missed. Yeah. So I think that one just has like a higher chance of missing. Is essentially how that happens. Lol. Dude, you are so toast. Like, you don't even know. This is super satisfying. <laughs> Just to sit here and like, like, oh, justice. Dang, man. He has a thing for Jade. Oh yeah, I didn't really realize that this is a great sword, huh? Nice. Massive XP. Oh, 81, 50. Things are looking up. Ugh. I'm like I'm used to like tens of thousands. <laughs> Goodness. It did level everyone, so I guess that's about right. <laughs> no, this cannot be. I cannot be defeated. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, I don't have a sword. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Quick, quick, run and get the sword. Run and get the sword. <laughs> well, you guys keep an eye on him. I'll be right back. Oh no. Oh no, here comes Morn again. Uh... And what do we have here? Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Yep, 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 yep. Flashbacks. Flashbacks. Yeah, yeah. Run and get the sword. Run. What is Jasper led us into? Run and get the sword. What happened here? Your pal showed his true colors. That's what happened. He's no servant of Heliodor. He yeah, yeah. Well, he's distracting him. Evil. Let's go and get the sword. <laughs> the luminary is not your enemy. It was Jasper all along. Curse you. So this is how you repay your king. With treachery. Master, help me. Oh, dang. Cut him down. Oh my god, I can't even imagine how incredibly shocking that would be to Hendrik. Faithless cur. You would dare to betray me? Betray your kingdom? Death is more than you deserve. Oh my god. 
Oh, and they never like really got their like resolution or anything. I am grateful to you, Hendrick. Dude. If you had Dude. not brought me here, I may never have learned the Dude, truth. Dude, don't fall for it. If not for your intervention, who knows how long it might have continued? Who knows how much damage might have been wrought? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> He's like, dang it. <laughs> I was merely doing my duty, sire. I only wish he had been unmasked sooner. Well, I guess... I don't know. I kind of feel bad because he never really got a chance to talk it out with him like they it did at the end. I owe you an apology. <sighs> I have visited a grave injustice upon you. Whatever, Mordigan. It was Jasper who Whatever, spoke Mordigan. of the dark spawn, who poisoned me against you. I see now that all this was merely part of his wicked scheme. Father. <laughs> oh. Uh, James. He's like, uh, who are you again? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How is it that I did not see you there? Today is a day of surprises indeed. <laughs> the Oscar oh. goes too. Let me look at oh you. Oh my god, don't let him touch you. Don't let him touch you. <laughs> god, that guy is freaking huge. You have suffered greatly, Lord Robert. The fall of Dundrasil and all that has happened since were tragic events indeed. But it is time to put them behind us and face the future. Would you not agree? Sorry, your majesty, but I'll be putting nothing behind me until I've dealt with the cause <laughs> of it all. Mordigan. Ah, yes. Mordigan. Doubtless Jasper bent the knee to that fiend. I see now that he is the source of the evil that afflicts our world. No doubt. He is out there <laughs> even as we speak. Yeah. <laughs> lying low. Biding his time. Oh my god. He is doing quite the tap dance. He's like, oh my god, I'm so outnumbered. I'm so screwed if I try anything right now. But we have the luminary on our side. Mm. Now, you Suspicious. must claim the sword of light. The sacred power Suspicious. of Idrisil is your like birthright. Like, no, no, I'm fine. It's fine Take there, it. actually. It is long past time. Oh, my God. <laughs> What's going to happen? So, it was Jasper who was Mordigan's man on the inside all along, eh? I don't think there's any doubt of it after what we just saw. We may not know where Mordigan's hiding himself, uh, <laughs> uh, but we, <laughs> when we do, the Sword of Light will help us finish the job. Go on, Lottie, head on over to the heart and claim your birthright. Been looking forward to seeing my father again for so long, but it doesn't feel like I thought it would. I just can't seem to relax around him. I'm sorry, Drew, but I don't think I'm quite ready for a happy reunion just yet. After all those years apart, there's a big gap to close. Jasper, why would a sworn knight of Heliodor sell his soul to the darkness? What could have possibly been worth such a price? Oh, I'm sorry, Hendrik. I feel bad. The Servant of Darkness is defeated. Now all we have to do is defeat the Master. It seems our adventure is fast approaching its grand finale. We just need to find out where Mordigan is hiding. If only Jasper were still alive, perhaps he might have been able to tell us. Dude, whatever. Two plus two. Let's think about this. <laughs> He's just killing me that I know and they don't. Um, but because he was like, you know, master, help me or whatever. And he was reaching towards the king of Helidor. I mean, come on. Like, everybody rolled so low in perception. Wow, that Jasper really had it in for us, didn't he? It's a miracle we made it out of the battle alive. It's a good job you spotted him when you did. If you hadn't blocked that spell he slung at you, goodness knows what would have happened. Yeah, bad things. All bad things. When Jasper fired that first spell at us, I thought we were done for. And we would have been if it wasn't for you. Not to mention that crazy sword of yours. Where did you get the thing anyway? Huh. <laughs> Whatever it was, or wherever it was, you won't be taking it back anytime soon. Shattered into a zillion pieces. Oh, that Jasper guy was just the worst. 
But why climb all the way up here and try and finish us off? Why didn't he attack us down on the ground? There was so much I wanted to ask him, but then old King C decided to uh, make himself judge jury and executioner. <sighs> now I'll never know. Well, uh, yeah, yeah. Sub Mortigan. I see you. I'm on to you, sir. You might be, like, ten feet tall, but you're not getting away with Jack. Mortigan remains at large. Ha! Yeah, well, he is the cause of all this chaos, true. Go, Luminary, and claim the Sword of Life. Only this great weapon can end the Lord of Shadows' reign. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what? No. I didn't just evilly cackle at the end of that. Uh, so, injure the heart. Yes, I guess um, we have no choice. So, we can't just, like, slap the king of <laughs> Eliador. <laughs> Bitch, fight me! <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, yeah, take it, take it, take it, take it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's do this, let's do this. <laughs> the anxiety is real. <laughs> Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Now, use your luminary powers to punch him in the face. It is beautiful. <laughs> Magnificent. <laughs> May I take a closer look? <laughs> of course, as I hit you in the face with it or something. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What, what was that? Ooh, what was that? Well, no matter. Now that we have the sword, let us return to Heliodor. We must celebrate your triumph. What the heck is going on? Like, how am I not, like, ousting Wait. this guy? You're inviting us back to the castle. But of course, Lord Robert, you are the defenders of Yggdrasil. The unmaskers of the traitor Jasper. Your great deeds deserve recognition. Uh huh. Well, uh... Luminary, I trust that you will take me up on my invitation. Hell no. Ah, oh. ah, poor Hendrik. He just has no idea. <sighs> I have wronged you, but in time I will make amends. I swear it. I believe you. We will go ahead and begin the preparations. We look forward to welcoming you in Heliodor. Uh -huh. We're going to have the murder pits, or what, what are those called? Where they like throw the boiling tar on enemies as they walk through the gates. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> looking forward to their quote-unquote welcome. The heart of Yggdrasil shines with a holy light. Uh, no chest, huh? Oh, God. Well, everything went well so far. Veronica's still alive. Thank God. Uh, party talk. We beat Jasper, but Hendrik doesn't seem too happy about it. I guess they do have a lot of history, though. It can't be easy watching an old friend going off the rails like that. Yeah. Yeah! When I was locked up in the dingy cell, I never thought I'd be the guest of honor at Helidor Castle. Can't wait to see the look on the guards' faces when they see me. Heh <laughs> it's gonna be sweet! Ooh. Maybe I'm imagining this, but the, when the King Carnelian went and touched the Sword of Light, I'm sure I saw some kind of shadow pushing him away. You want to talk? That's not like you. <laughs> I'm a man of few words, this is true. Uh, I really thought we were done for when Jasper turned up. Oh, I... It's been quite a journey, laddie, but you've finally managed to get your hands on the Sword of Light. Now, make sure you look after it, won't you? You know as well as I do that it isn't the kind of sword you find every day. <laughs> oh... I'm sorry, it's just taking a while to sink in. Meeting my father again, I mean... I haven't seen him since I was a little girl, and then suddenly there he is. It's just gonna take some time to get used to, that's all. 
Yeah, and her intuition is definitely telling her something is up. Uh, you know, and I mean, even whenever they were, she was younger, she spent a lot of time in Dundercell with Queen Eleanor, so uh, I imagine that they didn't get to spend a lot of time together, you know, even then. So, oops. Uh, like, how long does it take for the sparkly spots to regen? Because I'm like, I would love to be able to snag the good stuff again. Uh, like the Yggdrasil do and everything. Probably a lot longer than me just um, beating Jasper to the ground. <laughs> like beating his face in. Uh, so where does this take? Hey, guess if we go down it. Like, where exactly does it put us? Oh, okay. Where we climb up at. Duh. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. Okay, so let's go ahead and get on to Helidor and see what happens. Jeez. Okay, so here we are in Helidor. And... Just wondering what's going to happen. Greetings, honored luminary. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive us for persecute, uh, persecuting you so. But fear not. We know the whole truth now. King Carnelian has explained all. You must make your way to the castle. I am sure his majesty will be eager to see you. Oh, I'm sure he is. <laughs> uh, Alright. It seems that the king is hosting someone rather important up at the castle. I wonder who it could be. If you're interested, you should head up there yourself. Go straight up the road, climb the steps, and keep going and Bob's your uncle. But remember, they don't let anyone at night. Alright, well. We won't have any issues with that. Man, it's been so long since uh, we've been here. Like, it was the dawn of the time of this game or something. Alright, uh, gosh, and the lag is so bad. I don't know why, but the lag has been getting worse in this game. Like, I don't know if it's because I had to switch, um, recording software, uh, or what. Okay. Game face. Oh gosh. Okay, so maybe... Uh, I'm sitting here trying to think. Like, maybe I should... Oh, I need a shield as well. Um, yeah, maybe I should sit here and actually equip her with... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Um... Because I'm kind of, I don't know, like, I'm just anticipating that it, it's going to get real <laughs> really soon. Uh, huh, the evasion chance would kind of be nice. Uh, I'll keep the vest on me. Ooh, and maybe I should have stayed the night somewhere. Like... <laughs> Extreme paranoia. Um, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure he's not going to attack us outright, right? Like, maybe? Just maybe? His Majesty is waiting for you. To get to the throne room, head up these stairs and go straight ahead. All right. Yeah, I think I remember how to get there. Just vaguely. Ooh, can we go into their rooms? Because I don't think we were able to go in there, like, last time. Like, yeah, that is the princess's room, but I have the princess with me, like... Like, I want the loot that's probably in there. Oh, God. <laughs> Horrible flashbacks. Also, do they still have the cobblestonians in the dungeon, I wonder? Oh wait, no, they hadn't Honor sent... Luminary. Wait, yes they had. It gives me great pleasure okay, the time thing has got me off a bit. At last. Oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> to think, I once thought ill of uh -huh. 
saw you as a harbinger of calamity, called you unconscionable things. Oh, truly, Jasper cast a most malign shadow. Dude, whatever. I owe you a great deal. I'm so glad you Veronica's with us. You revealed the traitor in our midst and returned my daughter to me. As a small token of my appreciation, I have arranged for some special visitors. Hendrik, if you would. Yes, sire. Yeah, it's gonna be the cobblestoneians, huh? Like, because they were in the dungeon this entire time. <gasps> and Gemma and and Mom. Oh, there you are at last. We've been dying to see you. I was so worried about you. I heard all these horrible stories. I, I thought you, you might be. Right after you left the village, this horrible man called Jasper came with all these soldiers. I'll never forget his eyes. They were so cold. He ordered us all to gather in the middle of the village, and then... Then he told his men to kill us all. But Sir Hendrik came to the rescue. He showed up just in the nick of time and told Jasper to let us live. They still locked us up in the castle, but at least we were safe. And then they came and told us you weren't a baddie after all, and let us go. We've been through an awful lot, love. But from what I hear, so have you. I'm proud of you. And so is your granddad, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> now, let us begin the festivities at last. A banquet worthy of our savior awaits. From this day forth, none shall doubt the luminary. He shall be honored, celebrated, adored. Weird. Weird. Drew and his companions are guests of honor at a banquet the likes of which Heliodor has never seen. The singing, dancing and, uh, dancing, and merriment lasts along into the night. Then, at last, the revelers retire to bed. Now it's boss battle time, right? Like, I'm just waiting for, like, Mordigan to just jump us. Like, just be, like, waiting in a corner. Just jump out. You poor boy. Sir Hendrik told me all about what they put you through. But you didn't let it beat you. You kept fighting until the king realized the truth and released us. I knew you wouldn't let us down. You're my little soldier through and through. Ah, I'm so proud of you. I could burst. Aw. Thanks, Mom. I wouldn't have thought it would, uh, <laughs> thought it when I was locked up in the dark, uh, the dank dungeon living on bread and water. But King Carnelian knows how to put on a good spread. But if he thinks we're going to forgive him just because he gave us good feed, he's got another thing coming. Those pies were awfully tasty, though. Ugh, I'm torn. My heart says one thing, but my belly says another. <laughs> right? Oh, uh, wrong way, actually. Oh! Are you this luminary fellow, then? I imagine you'd be a tough-looking sword, but you're a real string bean. You look like you need a hearty dinner or two to put some meat on your bones. You can't go saving the world with your tummy rumbling, can you now? <laughs> no, I suppose not. Alright, so... Let's go talk to the pink dot. Whoever that might be. Oh, Eric. Hey, you look pretty wiped out, Drew. Well, I guess you don't get a banquet thrown in your honor every day. If you want to crash, you should grab a guest room upstairs. I heard they were over on the west side of the castle. It's great seeing you, me old mucker Eric again. And now you don't have to skulk around trying not to get spotted no more. Yep, now King's God and pardoned you. You don't have to worry about being slung back in the cells. You're free as birds, both of you, and I couldn't be happier. Aw. I'm sorry I ever doubted you, man. <laughs> Yeah, that was another thing at the beginning of the game. I was like, this guy's totally guilty. He sold us out. 
Like the one person that I uh, probably, ooh, hello. Uh, shouldn't have been suspicious of. And I was. <laughs> why, Jasper, why? Oh, poor Hendrick, I feel really bad. I'm like, I wish I could just explain it to him. Like, uh, dressed in armor. Uh, them, or what is that what that was? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I assumed it was a recipe book, so I wasn't paying attention. Uh, the mermaid princess led King Dresden deep beneath the waves to an undersea realm where the citizens were engaged in a contest of strength, wrestling one another in order to be recognized as the strongest. If you can defeat my father, the princess told him, he will grant you my hand in marriage. And thus the two kings fought, but so perfectly were these warriors matched that the that though they wrestled for seven days and seven nights, neither could claim victory. So awestruck was the king of the ocean at the warrior's, warrior king's might that he offered him not only his daughter's hand in marriage, but also one of the great treasures of his realm. From this treasure, a lustrous scarlet scale, as strong as steel and light as silk, the warrior king forged a beautiful suit of crimson armor. But he could not wed the princess, for he was a man of his word and had not defeated her father. He turned his back on his beloved, and to her dismay, left the Undersea Kingdom never to return. Aw. Well, that's sad. <laughs> uh, oh, this guy looks worried. I have a funny feeling that I've seen that blue-haired chap somewhere before. The one standing outside the banqueting hall? But where could it have been? Bah, it's times like this you wish old Noah was around. You take one look at him and tell you everything he, you wanted to know. More, in fact. And what happened to Noah? I understand that you are actually the Prince of Dundrasil? That you survived the terrible tragedy that befell the kingdom all those years ago? Well, if in future you should choose to rebuild your kingdom, know that it would be an honor to help you. I have no doubt that countless people would rally to your cause. Oh. Well, that's a nice thought. Uh, so let's uh, check in here. I guess this is uh, maybe Jasper's room or something. I'm still coming to terms with it all. The king came up to me and told me to clear out Sir Jasper's room. He just said, I'm not keeping a room for a dead man, and then stormed off. After all Sir Jasper did to defend the kingdom. What kind of thing uh, to say is that? Yeah. Okay, nothing, huh? I remember meeting young Jasper for the first time, you know. Ugh. It was way back before you were born. He seemed like a nice enough young lad. I wonder where it all went wrong. What foul force could have pulled him toward the dark path, I wonder. Hmm. Yeah, well, when you're king that you've sworn to protect and that you look up to and see as some sort of, like, father figure, yada, 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 says, like, hey, I'm evil and you should, uh, do my bidding and stuff, uh, I would imagine it's kind of hard to say no. I mean, just saying. Just a hunch. Oh, there's Veronica. <gasps> so happy to see her alive. I just wanted you to know, we may have fulfilled our duty and taken you to Yggdrasil, but that doesn't mean Serena and I are just going to go home now. We're not going anywhere until Morgan's finally been taught a lesson. We've been talking about the first time we met you, Drew. We both thought the same thing, that we met you before a long, long time ago. It's strange, isn't it? Yes, I suppose so. Oh, look at Savon. No, he's having a good old time. There you are, Drew, darling. The people of Heliodor are such a scream. I can't remember the last time I had so much fun. Come on, why don't you show them your moves? It's a party. Don't be shy now. <laughs> well, I don't have the... Uh, oh, I do have the Mardi Gras garb, don't I? Uh, Let's see here. Ta -da! <laughs> now it's a party. <laughs> I was so worried about you, Drew. I'm so glad you made it back safe and sound. I just hope that one day, you know, once we've all gone home to Cobblestone and rebuilt everything, I hope we can, um, that you and me can... Oh, listen to me rambling on. Ignore me, Drew. I'm just being silly and selfish. I know you have far more important things to be worrying about than me. I'll stop wittering on. Sounds like a plan. Alright, so... 
Mark beats Mortigan in Marty Garb. Um, let's see here. Elevating vest. I hope I don't regret wearing that, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, somebody's passed out over here. Oi, move yourself, you lousy layabout. I'm late for my shift patrolling downtown. Oh, I'm sorry. Caught me at an awkward moment. I'm trying to get this loafer to move, you see. Luckily for you, you don't have a night shift to be getting on with. Why don't you turn in for the night? There's a guest room upstairs in the western part of the building you can use. All right. So, western part. I see. Oh, gosh. The lag. There are all sorts of people staggering about the castle looking dazed and confused. I think they might be enjoying the party a little too much. Oh, I feel sick. Oh, no. I'm just going to barf in the... The, uh... The fountain there. So, how was the banquet? Did you have fun? I've been speaking to my father, but I won't lie to you. Something doesn't quite feel right. I mean, after all these years, I suppose that's not surprising, but still. Oh, I'm sorry. This really isn't anything you need to worry about, Drew. You should turn in for the night. There's a bed in the room through here. Okay. Yes, rest here for the night. Because we got some battling to do. Oh, God. He's going to, like, spring out of our wardrobe. Oh, no, 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 no. He's going to try and sneak in and snag the sword. <laughs> like, we had a flashback to Mordigan attacking us. What is this? Why can I not touch the sword? Surely it cannot be. Yeah. Accursed luminary. Give it to me. Give me the sword of light. It belongs to me. Oh. Because it's time to throw down. <gasps> What's going on in here? Princess, what is the meaning of this? She's like, dude, I don't know. I just walked in. I knew it. You're not my father. Look at you. You're a monster, not a man. Yeah, blight are you? I had a feeling in my waters that something wasn't quite right with you, Carnelian. So this whole thing was a sham? The banquet, the speeches. Wow, that's cold. So who are you? Oh, goodness. He disappeared. Oh, you! Stop skulking in the shadows! Come out and show your stupid face! <laughs> Something tells me he won't have gone far. Quick, let's search the castle. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Hendrik, uh, you should really come along. Who have I served all these years? Not a man, but a monster. Poor Hendrik. Like, he's just having the worst time of it. <laughs> like, his whole world. It's just kind of... Yeah. I sense something ominous emanating from the throne room. It would record your deeds in an adventure log before heading that way if I were you. And eh, now we're fine. We got this. But yeah, I mean, like, we had the flashback where we saw Mordigan attack us. So, I'm kind of wondering, I mean, like, maybe I'm just, like, covering a pl up a plot hole here, but maybe it just, he's, you know, we're not totally cognizant of everything that's happened. It's just kind of, like, like, we have a really strong notion <laughs> of things that came to pass. There was all this noise coming from the guest rooms, and then Sandy jumped up and ran off uh, towards the throne room. Normally she wouldn't say boo to a goose. Just what's got into her. Oh my god, Sandy, no! <laughs> I swear if they land one hand on that dog. Sandy! <laughs> no more giving us the 
run around you. We've got you cornered. Now let the king go and show us your true form, fiend. <laughs> oh. There he is. And, oh, like, how is it that he looks so different? Last, I have been enjoying Carnelian's hospitality since the day Dundrasil fell. <sighs> but the game ends here. I have wasted too much time already waiting for you to lead me to the Sword of Light. And since I was unable to steal it from you, it seems I must take it by force. Very well. Come to Mordigan like good little lambs and die. This throne room's about to get wrecked. Mordigan, so it's you. I've waited years for this day to come. Not only Jasper, but his majesty too. Your deception shall not go unpunished, devil. You have been a serviceable puppet over the years, Hendrik. But it is time you joined your wretched kinfolk in hell. <sighs> My... Do you mean it was you? You who massacred my people? It was all you, wasn't it? The destruction of Dundrasil. The families torn apart. You've stolen so much from so many. And now you're going to pay. I stand with you, Luminary. My loved ones, my countrymen, they must be avenged. I'm with you too. This is the guy who's had it in for you all this time, right? Let's show him who he's been messing with. Getting the well, band back Luminary, together. What are you waiting for? Come, give me your power, that I may rule over this world unopposed. I got my vest on. We're gonna get some mad XP. All right, uh, fight. Abilities. Quadra Slash. Nice. Mutters a creepy incantation. Ooh. All right. Um. Oh dang. Um. Oh, Hendrix with us. Oh, fantastic. That's gonna help out a lot. I was kind of wondering if I could swap him out, like, in my lineup or something, but yeah, this is way better because he's basically gonna take, like, no damage and play support, so... I might have to swap out Jade, in all honesty. Um... I don't know. Oh, jeez. Okay, uh, so tactics, so they're on fight wisely. Strike a careful balance between offense and defense. Uh, I should probably... Hmm. I don't know, because Renica has some nice support spells, so maybe I'll just keep them on that for a while and just see how they do. Dang. This should help. Yeah, see, there she goes. Ah. 
Do hip drop instead since she's not really connecting with the other thing I can't wait to get that other ability unlocked on her again because god it does such a nice amount of damage have anything that um, knocks them out of being confused, unfortunately. Uh, and if I use Quadra... Oh, no. I did oh, shoot. Okay, good. Because I was... Wondering if... Oh, she called for backup, but nobody showed up. Um... Yeah, I was kind of scared that it was like that confusion thing where it makes them like, essentially kind of like... attackable. <laughs> where like, I accidentally like murdered Hendrick that one time. Um... All right, so spells. Let's do more heal to Veronica. Oh no! Oh, I didn't understand what it meant. Okay, <sighs> the text goes by so fast, and I thought it took away like status effects and like benefits and everything, but it reverses it as we just saw um so items i'm hoping that the egg drissel leaf will work on her oh but it didn't oh my god okay <sighs> i'm like how long does this um miss last for because oh she did like yeah, oh god, this is not good. And especially if we defeat him, because she's not going to get the XP. Shadows, hear me. Gosh. Oh, thank God. Okay. So I said the mist cleared, but it still kind of looks like it's around, right? <gasps> Four hit points. Not good. Oh, and now he's pepped. Yeah, I'm toast. Okay. Uh... Oh my God, this is not going well. <laughs> All right, looks like Serena's confusion is about to fade. So everyone follow orders. Okay, she's come to her senses. Items. God, okay. So actually, um, oh, she doesn't have multi-heal. Oh my God. This is just, yeah, okay. So before that lineup, let's swap out Rab. Oh, she can't be swapped out because she's confused. Dang it. And then I also can't swap these out because they're dead. Oh, I can. Interesting. Okay. All right. Yeah, let's roll with that for a moment. You rang, honey. <laughs> Okay, uh, spells, more heal, let's heal um, we'll soon have that patched up. myself. 
Ooh, dang. Jay needs to be healed, like, right this second. Nope. Down. <laughs> Ugh, beneficial effects have been reversed. Oh my god, this is so annoying. Because now I can't re <laughs> revive Jade. Uh... Oh my god. Okay. Uh... So. Oh, wait. Okay, thank god. Okay. <laughs> Because I was like, oh, maybe I could cast Decelerate on myself and increase my acceleration. But, uh, yeah, no. Right, uh, right as rain would be a bad idea. Spells. Yeah, I just... <laughs> We're in such trouble. Like, with that miss... Yeah, it's just, uh, not good. Oh, four points of damage. Uh, alright. So, spells. So, can I heal? No, I can't. Okay. I like it whenever JRPGs let you use items on either side of the fence. Uh... Because typically using cure or something like that on, like, undead would actually hurt them. Uh, but yeah, that's not the case here, obviously. Uh, so... Oh, like, she doesn't have anything. Okay, so let's, uh, equipment then. And... Equip the Paladin's Lance. And I guess just attack... Because uh, there's really nothing else I can do at this point in time. Because I have to wait for the... Oh, God. Yeah, I have to wait for the mist to clear. Oh, great. So maybe I need to take down his staffs. Like, I don't know if that's dictating like how long it takes uh for the mist to go away so all right uh equipment okay claws on rab oh hendrix attacking the other one Oh god, there goes Rap. I might be way too underleveled for this. I'm seeing that now. I was all cocky because I beat him, but I'm of level, but nobody else is. <laughs> oh god. Alright, uh, attack. Oh yeah, see now Silvando, like I would be able to attack Silvando, but I definitely don't want to do that. Um. Oh, thank God. Oh my God, nobody's gonna get XP. <laughs> triumph was never in doubt. Sixteen thousand. greater. Oh no. Only half of us got XP. Yeah! Black licorice jelly baby. I see. So be it. But do not think that you are the only one who has defied the flow of time.
Father. Father, are you all right? Uh, all right. Jade, can it really be you? Have I been dreaming? The, the last I remember is the attack on Dundras Hill. After that, all is black. <sighs> Wait, that mark. The child, the luminary. But you were a mere babe in arms when I last saw you. There is clearly much we need to discuss, but, but you must forgive me. I'm still feeling rather faint. <coughs> <coughs> Father, you mustn't overexert yourself. Come on, let's get you to bed. I need to look after him. We'll meet here again tomorrow, all right? God, he's like huge. <laughs> like, I don't know why every single time, like, I just have to comment on it, but every time I'm like, Those whoa, are going to have he's a tall. Lot to catch up on, huh? A lot. Yeah, seriously. I can't believe half of us died. <laughs> Word soon spreads through the castle that King Carnelian has been under the spell of an evil demon. While the king recovers, Drew and his companions get some much needed rest. Then, that evening... Dude, I'd be sleeping with that sword. Oh, black. Black licorice jelly baby. Huh. Here today, more to Ken tomorrow. <laughs> Ordered for going back in time and thwarting the male malevolent. Ma I have no idea how to say that word. Of uh, the scheming sorcerer Mordigan. Alright. Morning, Drew. I hope you slept well. Princess Jade wanted me to tell you that the king needs to speak to you. They'll be waiting for you in the throne room, apparently. I hope it's good news. We've had enough bad news to last us a lifetime. Whatever it is, you can walk in there with your head held high. I'm proud of you. We all are. Cool. All right. Uh, so let's. Uh... Like, can I go in their rooms yet? <laughs> like, I want to go in there. There's loot. I know it. <gasps> Sandy. This is exciting. You're off to meet the real king. Well, remember to mind your P's and Q's, eh? Only kidding. I'm sure you'll be fine. Well, what can I say? My little soldier has done his mo old mom proud yet again. Now run along and see the king. Your granddad will be looking down on you from heaven with his big, uh, with a big smile on his face, I'm sure. Right, uh... There's everybody. I know the truth now. Hard as it was to swallow. The things I did while under the monster's spell are almost too terrible to contemplate. If not for you, this kingdom, no, this entire world would have been turned to ashes. Yeah, it would have been pretty bad. Have been lost to Mordigan. A true hero stands among us. Adria is eternally in your debt. You are a worthy heir to the legendary Erdwin. Truly, you are the luminary, our light, and our hope. Deja vu. You really did it, huh? Mm -hmm. What's the matter, Veronica? Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I 
just welled up all of a sudden. I'm just glad to be here with all of you, I suppose. Aww. <laughs> but where else would you be, you silly thing? You, you're right. I'm being stupid. Sorry. Seems like the time being rewound has also kind of left like light impressions on everybody, really. Thank you for everything. <laughs> Ew, sparkly. going on I sense something awful something truly truly evil but where is it coming from what was it Mordigan said just before he died something about and I was like this is just going too well the, <laughs> one who the flow of time right but what did he mean <laughs> uh oh your Highness, please, you must come quickly. It's Erdwin's lantern. What? Uh. The balcony, upstairs, quickly. Okay. Uh, okay, it feels like hello, doors. This thing on uh, upstairs. Um, uh, upstairs. I love the mood lighting though. Like I don't know, it's kind of nice. Oh, jelly baby. Oh, he was excitedly running. Okay, uh, this way maybe. Yeah, balcony. Okay. Oh, hello. Resilient Sovereign. I do have a number of those that I actually do need to sell. Kind of like accidentally like hoard them and then I forget to... Oh, maybe I should have checked to see if everybody was healed and stuff. Oh, no, no, no. It's a night. Sorry, passed. Okay, never mind. We, we're fine. I have never seen its like. Look, over there. Oh, there it is. That one's lantern. It's falling. Oh gosh, so we might actually get to find out what this is all about. Oh yeah, so that was Mordigan that slashed it out of the sky. Ooh, and he talked about like some sort of like competition or something. Oh no. <laughs> Mordigan destroyed me. Oh no. But Mordigan is no more. Now, none stand in my way. Now is my time. Now I am whole again. Oh, oh, oh. Man, <laughs> from <laughs> uh, Ghostbusters. <laughs> yeah, something tells me he's not friendly. I don't know. It's just a hunch, I guess.
I'm definitely gonna be a low Every level for that thing. Has fallen. I fear this bodes ill for us all. I dare make this request of no other luminary. I must ask that you investigate. The great star fell to earth in the celestial sands. They can be seen from the Emerald Coast. That must be your first port of call. Sire, I would ask your leave to join this expedition. <gasps> yes, we're getting Hendrik. Hmm. I cannot atone for all that I have done. But perhaps in joining you, I might repay my debt at least in part. Luminary, I will be your sword, your shield, your unswerving companion. Aww, of course you will. Yay, we got Hendrik again. I'm so excited. Like, who knew that I'd be happy to have Hendrik? <laughs> I was so angry at his stupid face for such a long time. Excellent. All right, guys. Ugh, a lot has happened. <laughs> a lot. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, hit that like button before you click on to the next video. Appreciate you hanging out with me. And until next time, take care.